Hello, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this film is uh, film number four, uh, video number four in our series on how to uh, produce a rendering. Uh, what we're going to do, be doing next is uh, actually taking some camera views on the inside of the house. And a couple more things in regard to the sun path before we turn it off is I want to kind of manipulate this in a manner that we can take advantage of what the sun might look like on the shortest day of the year when the sun is highest up in the sky and it's noon on December 21st or 22nd or somewhere close to that date. So we're going to set it to the 21st and we're going to set our date to our time to about 12 post meridian. And we move that around. What we want to do is we want to see the sun uh, kind of intersecting that north-south uh, meridian. So 12.15 is a little bit uh, late for that. Maybe right at noon probably would be good. Maybe just before that. It all depends what your location is and where you're at uh, in regard to your time zone. But uh, it seems to be fairly accurate here. Right at noon seems to work. And it's got to be uh, you know up to uh, half an hour earlier or half an hour later depending on where you're at in your time zone. So enough of that. We already have that set. We have it set for the winter solstice at about noon. And now that we have that set, we're going to go ahead and turn our sun path on. But before we do that, actually, let's turn our shadows on so we can see what our shadows look like. We're not going to see any when we set our camera view up, even if we do the realistic setting. We're not going to really see shadows in there, but we are going to see shadows ultimately in sunlight on the floor when we take our renderings, our photoreal renderings, in the inside of the house. But to kind of give us an idea of what we might be looking for, let's go ahead and turn our shadows on and let's turn sun path off. Boom. Let's take a look at the inside of the house. Move this around, you notice that uh, what I have created here is a second floor living room. Really like that concept. Gives you an opportunity to look out over, over the landscape with a much higher perspective. And uh, with it uh, above the, the forest canopy here in a way, if you have landscaping in front of the yard, it provides for a lot more sunlight coming in. So you can see some shadows in there. I have a living room set up and I have a dining room back here in the kitchen on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and put a camera view in. In order to take a photo reel rendering of something, you can do it off of your 3D view. But typically you do it off a camera view, so you want to set up some camera positions inside your house. So we were talking about the second floor. Let's go ahead and set up the second floor up here. And let's put a camera in. If you go to your 3D view, we've already created a default 3D view. You can't do two of those, only one per model. And the two other choices are a camera view and a walkthrough. We'll talk about walkthroughs in different videos. But uh, let's go, go to the camera. Click on camera. Let's do a position of the camera. One thing I may have a, a little bit of concern about is my dining room. Once I put furniture in there, I realize that it might be kind of narrow. So I'm going to take a look at that and see what the dining room looks like. So I'll do a couple different camera views. I'm going to set it here right by my, my windows and then look right into, uh, right into the dining room. You notice that at the end of your cursor you have a little red icon with a blue X to it. What that does is it allows you to set the position of the camera, but also allows you to set the, the depth of field. So what I don't want to do necessarily, and just for demonstration, I'm going to drop it here. I'm going to drop it just before uh, the, the dining room uh, table and chairs and kind of take a look at what that looks like. It automatically opens up that picture. And you notice that it does include the table and chairs, but it doesn't include some of the details behind that because we set the depth of view not uh, really quite far back enough. So the focus, uh, which is that red icon, is going to be uh, you know, somewhere in this area, and it's going to be the depth of view. We do need to adjust that. So let's do this. Before we go any further, let's take our 3D view camera, which is what it calls itself. I already have two other camera views in here. You probably want to start uh, n naming these so you can track them a little bit better. And the way you do that is you right click on it, and this is the camera view we just created. And we know it is because it's highlighted in uh, dark bold text. So let's go, to, go ahead and rename this, and we'll call this Living Room. And probably something even more descriptive since we have a first floor living room, living room, we'll call that Second Floor living room and maybe look in southwest. That's very descriptive. Okay, how do we manipulate that? Let's go back to our floor plan, our second floor floor plan. Right click on second floor living room looking southwest. Tell it to show that camera. And now we have our camera back. So now we have a position of our camera, kind of like where it's going to focus on. And we can move that back a little bit further, but we also want to take our depth of view, which is this open blue circle. Remember, anything in uh, SolidWorks, it's, you can edit, uh, you can move and modify. It's going to be blue. So let's take that uh, depth of view circle and move that way back, and let's take a look at that camera one more time. Some things you can uh, click on and actually get that view, like with a, with a section view, but not with the camera. So you'll have to go back 
down here to our 3D views, go to our second floor living room, look in southwest, and now you can see that. You can take uh, the field of view here too, and maybe widen out to a little bit to the top, bottom, to the side, to increase a little bit more of what we're looking at. That looks a lot more inclusive, and compared to uh, the dining room, or compared to the living room and the kitchen, and uh, it looks a lot more wide angle. That dining room is teeny tiny. So I'm going to have to move that a little bit and make modifications to it. So let's go back to our second floor one more time. Take a look at that camera by right clicking on it. Go to show camera. And now you notice that the triangle that defines our depth, or not our, our field of view here, is a lot wider because we made that manipulation uh, within that camera view itself. And our depth of view back here is uh, moved back a little bit too. That includes that too. So this triangle that you see with the camera, kind of turned off there. Show that camera one more time. We are seeing everything that's with inside this uh, triangle. And so that's our uh, field of view, which we can manipulate uh, when we're looking at the camera, and the depth of view, which we can manipulate when we look at our floor plan. Okay, more in the next video.